Well, if you are like me, going carefully through the certified entry level Python programmer objectives as we move throughout this course, you're going to notice an objective that talks about floating point accuracy. Yeah. So let's go ahead and cover this subject of floating point accuracy or a lack thereof in Python. And just so you know, this is probably going to be the shortest of all the videos that we have in this certified entry level Python programmer course. Yeah, there's just not much to discuss here other than the fact that there is accuracy issues with floating point and this really shouldn't surprise you. Remember, I mean, we can't always perfectly accurately represent numbers. Uh, if you look at one third, our fraction one third, we know it's 0 0.3333333 and that goes on forever, just as a way to demonstrate how we can never have complete accuracy here, or at times we don't have complete accuracy. And that is going to happen with floating points in Python. Let me go ahead and prove that to you. So here we can see an example where I'm asking Python to print the result of 0.1 plus 0.2. You might look at this and go, well, this is going to be easy. The answer is going to be 0.3. Yeah, it couldn't be easier, right? Well, no. You see, Python is going to have trouble accurately representing values like 0.1 and 0.2 in binary. So what is the answer going to be? Well, try it yourself in Python. When you add these two floating points, you're going to get the result that we see on screen here. Yeah, so you're going to get a slightly inaccurate result. Isn't that interesting? So one of the things that we need to consider is Boolean operations with this. Yeah, so now we know if we ever did something like, okay, 0.1 point, uh, plus 0.2 equals 0.3, right? Yeah, now we will no longer be as stunned when Python responds with false. Yeah, we would have to build in some flexibility here in the comparison, sure, because according to Python, these two things would not 100% be equal. So just be aware of these floating point inaccuracies that can occur. It's not the biggest of deals. We just wanted to make you aware of this because as we said, this is important to know and it is one of the objectives in our official exam objectives. Well, all right, let's wrap up this particular section of content in the next video because we need to teach you about something we've actually seen in earlier videos, but it's time to really expand upon it. And it's a principle in Python called typecasting. Yeah, we'll take a look at it in the next video.